welcome to my vlog I have two things that I want to say first of all this is horrible I really apologize about it so I had a full nail and I can't even compare it with this one because this is pretty horrible too I had fake nails and this one this morning was getting really wobbly and I just decided to get rid of it because it was pissing me off and well who wants a wobbly fake nail like that's just doesn't feel right <laughs> so I am here not trying to complain about my wobbly fake nail that I got rid of but I also wanted to say that if you're interested to see how I created this makeup look then I will have the link below so you can check that out as well all right being a blog this is the place and the time where I just go ahead and I talk to you guys about what has been going on and basically just filling you in with everything. Initially, I was writing a book and I will be honest and say that I put that in the back burner. Just sort of put it behind myself because I wanted to actually get through, you know, every day and make sure that I was actually working towards success because I think one of the things that really gets me is when people say that, you know, success is great, but could you actually show it? And I want to have a chapter where I'm talking about what it's like to feel success, what it's like to have success, and what success actually means. Because there are really so many different, you know, meanings of success. And I think one of the things that really, you know, I thought about yesterday was when I was talking to um, a friend of the family mentioning to me that success is that feeling of growing and it really is it doesn't have to be the sign of achievement every time of course it's great when you have a goal and you reach it and you can tell everybody and not that you like throw it in their face or anything but just say hey guys I did it, you know, I'm actually capable of doing this. But it's also that feeling that you have inside saying to yourself, well, actually, I've seen myself grow. I see myself, you know, improve in confidence. And it doesn't have to be saying that you have a number to reach or something like that. Oh my goodness, why am I doing this? <laughs> so the actual reason I wanted to get on here and do a vlog is because I had a title for my video and that is why do I wake up every morning now going through my life as you may or may not know already is that I live a lifestyle that is different from a fair amount of people and it's not lazy you know easier in any way but it's different and it's what works for me so I love the whole idea of being a YouTuber. I have loved it for the longest time, but I never really knew, you know, what good it could do for me. Keep in mind that I'm not just here for the paychecks because if I was, if I was, then I would definitely have, you know, a set job and I hate working for someone. It's just not me. I prefer to work for myself and a lot of people think that it's better that you work for someone but unless I'm you know doing the things that I'm good at but on the side I will you know this is my main thing so every now and again I need to remind myself of why I wake up every morning and I can tell you that now I can tell you that I remember the feeling of waking up and doing a full-time job that I really hated I knew that I got money for it. I knew that it was something set, but I didn't feel like it was what I would call a great lifestyle. I believed there was something better out there. Didn't know what it was, and I'm still figuring that out. And you know what? I'm 24 years old, and that's okay. I'm allowed to still figure things out. I believe that people who, you know, are so used to 
the old fashioned ways feel that they must have a decision by a certain age and know what they're doing and forever know what they're doing. I do love YouTube and I want to be able to do it forever no matter what else I'm doing on the side, no matter what else I come across in life because it's a really great way that I can express myself. It's a really great way to show you guys what's going on and there are so many things that I'm really interested in like already you know that I love my music, already you know that I love makeup. I mean these are really important things to me because I notice that not only is it passionate you know a passion that I have but I see other people who are passionate about things as well and why not see other people you know reach their dreams knowing that you can do that too because really that's what we're all about right we're not I think we're way past that mind frame of only one person is successful you see so many people successful these days which means you can honestly get it as well, just as long as you make sure that you're working hard doing the things you want. So, I love waking up to doing what I'm doing because I know that it's something I'm passionate about. I know that people feel inspired. I feel inspired, you know, even just by creating a new makeup look. I'm feeling inspired or getting a new palette. It's, it's inspiration right there. And why not share that with other people who want to feel the same way? No, I'm not a comedian. I don't come on here making people laugh. It's nice. I do like making people laugh, but I know that's not something I'm very strong at. I prefer to just be real with people. Or I am actually grateful for the things that I have. I'm actually grateful that I'm alive. I'm grateful for all the wonderful people in my lives. I'm so grateful myself for myself you know having this confidence and passion for doing th things that i love and i'm also really lucky and grateful to have a husband who also pushes me to go forward and do the things that i love as well he may not know all the ins and outs because i do my best to try and figure that out myself at the same time i do love the whole feeling of learning new things and doing what seems to be something creative in my mind and when i'm on here i know for a fact that i'm improving every day it doesn't matter what i'm doing it through a vlog through a makeup tutorial even through creating a song i know for a fact that i'm learning in different ways i'm opening up to different things and being the best person that I can honestly be because if I was back there, you know, still working and feeling like a sad person, then I really don't know why I would want to wake up every morning. It's not enough to say, oh yeah, I'm going to get this amount of money every week or so on so yeah money does help we know this um that's what i'm aiming towards but i'm also making sure that my passion comes first because believe it or not money follows passion so when you're passionate about something when you work hard for something that you love you actually earn money from that it's not it's not the other way around which is very old-fashioned and old school what people think so yeah, I just want to be able to share that with you guys. I remember when I was working full time, there were a couple of people who'd been in the job for about eight years. And you know, that's a real achievement to many of us who think, you know, oh, I've been to this place and I've been to that. I've been changing jobs so many times in my life. And then there are other people who've been there for like eight, nine years or even more than that. And Unfortunately, those people didn't really seem to love their job, but somehow they just told themselves it's about the money. Well, if you're thinking that way, I really don't know, you know, if you're actually there, like presently. I want to be doing things and being present in the moment. I want to be able to be there 
experience it enjoy it and and go out there as well you know one of my biggest things apart from being able to spend an amazing time with my husband and of course i would still do that is traveling i love traveling i love going to other countries and packing up a suitcase and you know seeing something else new out there wow my lipstick has really come off i'm gonna have to put a new one and i think i ate it so <laughs> It's just really, for me, it's unfortunate when I hear people who think that they should just stick to something because that's what all they know or apologies. That's all they know or they're there for the money. I mean, to me, passion is everything. As long as you're passionate about it, do it. Absolutely do it. People are not gonna get it, and I've I've learned that as well. I do have, you know, family members who don't understand what I'm doing, and I'm never gonna be able to change that. Ever. Ever. I'm never gonna be able to change that. And the only person who can change the way they feel about something is me. The only person who can put me you know, on a horse and ride away to the ends of the earth is me. I'm the only one who could do that. So I do hold myself accountable for everything that I go through all the time, even though, you know, there are days when I just think to myself, oh my God, I feel so guilty of what I'm doing. Why am I doing it? But I'm doing it because I have a passion and that is like the bottom line of everything. I mentioned in one of my videos that one of my random facts was the movies that I watch, especially the cartoon ones. I know it's crazy. I'm cartoon geek or whatever you want to call it. And I love the fact that all these people are pushing towards their passions. And yes, I know they're cartoon movies, but there is something really special about them. And you just got to go for it you're passionate about something why should you hold back just because everybody's scared that you're going to you know lose money or that you're going to forget who you are or all that sort of stuff really you are your own person you're the one that's going to lose yourself you're the one that's going to lose your money and you are the one who's going to be responsible for anything that you feel with <laughs> i still think it's funny because uh I didn't actually think that I would hear Greg say this yesterday when we were doing our vlog, but just the whole idea that when I do something, I put my whole heart into it. It's all or nothing. Like, go big or go home. And I'm crazy like that because I get told day in and day out by people, don't put your whole heart into it. Don't, you know... What, what if it goes wrong, like give up or there, there are better things out there. You just, you don't know. I don't know. You're right. I don't know, but I won't know until I try it. And I have to try it because that's what's really important for me. My goodness, I'm like playing with eyelashes. I'm a weirdo. <laughs> When you do something passionate and you do something that you love, you wake up every day knowing it. And it doesn't matter how hard it is. It doesn't matter how many hours you spend on it. Obsession, who cares? Obsessive people are like the best ones because they really put everything into that one thing that they're really good at. And again, as I said, if you're passionate about something, the money follows. I heard that once upon a time. I can't remember when I heard it. And it made so much sense because I thought, well, yeah, of course, if you're putting your heart and your soul into something, of course, you're going to get something out of it. And people are going to pay you because they know that you really love what you're doing or, you know, and we are really our biggest enemies. We are the ones who stop ourselves from believing. People say stuff. They've got an opinion for everything. We know that. But we are the biggest 
preventers. Like we're the ones who stop ourselves from doing it. We're the ones who push ourselves towards it. Nobody else really does that. Yes, we have a bit of support, I get it. But look at all those people who may not have any support and where they are now. Like they're incredible people. And it's funny how others see that as being selfish because if you actually looked at that person from the beginning, you would have seen very little. Like they would have started from nothing, absolutely nothing. And for them to get this far, you think they're selfish because they've pushed their way to the top. But you must also realize that they didn't have help. So really, they could have given up. They could, they could have known that they didn't have anything, therefore they would never have anything. Or they could have started with nothing and known that they were better to do more. Or they were made to do more. That's what I believe, is that they were made to do more. And understand that every millionaire, six-figure income person, they're working with other people. They're not on their own. They're helping others, and that's how they become so successful. It's because they are helping others. And that's some, somewhere that I'd like to be as well. Like, I see all these successful people, and I think they're absolutely incredible. The one thing that I know for a fact I struggle with is you know, knowing the right people and helping me get to where I want to go. Because I love helping people. I do. It's something I'm really good at. But I just can't see myself doing any more, you know, childcare work. It's just not, it's not me. And I was doing massage therapy, but I'm definitely made more for beauty and hair and stuff like that. I don't know maybe hair was just a word but <laughs> hopefully you understand what I'm saying so go out there and do the things that you absolutely love because that will really help you get somewhere when people start out and do the things they hate it takes them a really long time to figure out what they want to do and um, yeah I, I know what that feels like to not know whether you're actually doing something that you're going to be passionate about for a long time it's that whole feeling of do I please myself do I please others well I think you start off by pleasing yourself first because you can't help others unless you help yourself Basically, that's how it works. But feel free to write down below what your thoughts are, you know, for being a better person and knowing that you're made for more, knowing that you're waking up every morning doing something that you love. You know, and make sure that you keep doing that because it will so pay off later on. Okay, that's the wrong word to say, but it will absolutely pay off later on. You'll see. Okay. Well, thank you so much for watching and I am really not looking forward to drinking because this lipstick comes off on stuff it's a nice color that's the thing when you've been in a in a company where the lipsticks are better <laughs> and you put new ones on just for the sake of because I'm not really going anywhere today so I don't have to wear a lipstick that isn't going to come off but like at home this is something that I'm wearing today nice color but seriously it just makes a mark on everything so i look forward to that i will see you guys soon bye